Okay, this video's done just to do a follow-up on some of the mods I've done. Just because you put a mod in doesn't mean it's going to be perfect and you have to do some adapting as you go. Um, one of the things I found, you know, you, just like anything else, you have to do maintenance on things. Uh, I added this box. It's been about a year and a half ago. We've had probably traveled a thousand miles or more with this. And uh, what we found is... If you saw the video where I put this in, we had a we had an area that was clamped in. Basically, you have basically have two toggle bolts going all the way through the frame there. And what happened is this is the piece that came out. This piece that was down there had two holes in it, and it's a piece of uh, just a neat, normal piece of uh, plastic decking. It's kind of a generic decking, and you can see it cracked. Probably because I didn't make it too thin, it started to crack on the second side. So I made a big pad this time. I'm hoping that holds up. My only other alternative is to put wood down, and I really don't want to put wood in here because it gets wet in here, and I don't want to create mold or mildew. So that's one thing we had to do to get that uh, taken care of. And I think that'll probably do it. I'll check it again after the after the next big trip I take, and uh, a few other things I'll go over. The other mod I did was this cargo door. Um, like I say, it's worked out really well. The first time I put it in, like I say, I learned my lesson. I didn't use the right kind of sealant. Now this is the other mod I did. I did a refrigerator mod. And if you saw that video I did for that, you'll see, uh, you'll see how I put this in. Uh, it's worked out really well. I've never had it jump. It actually has some pegs down at the bottom that hold the hold it in it's never jumped out of that I actually pulled it out not too long ago just to check it out and look it over make sure it's still doing well doing really fine with this like I say this is only 110 so it doesn't generate much heat I did add this vent over here on this side and I think I may add another one up here on top but uh, for now that's working out pretty well we usually just leave it cracked open and like I say when we're not using the refrigerator we leave it cracked open so the mold won't grow in it and that's worked out really well no problems with that one Another mod I that I did was this this uh, table. I used this uh, this table was for a computer desk, and I made a new top for it. And like I say, I've hooked it on here, and it can it telescope up or down. Like I say, right now I've just got it in the down position, but it'll pivot. And like I say, you can put a laptop on that, or you can put you can eat on it. And like I say, I haven't used that a whole lot, but I think I'm getting ready to take a longer trip now, and I think that'll come in handy for that and like I say so far that's been no problem at all otherwise I just pull this top off and set it aside when I'm folding the camper down nope no issues with it right now it's worked out really well the more recent mod I've done was this microwave in the cabinet here see I had the microwave and I had pool noodles holding it in before and right now what I did is I've actually uh, redid this I had a video of how I did this put new boards on the sides and the back in this front now it does jump this front sometimes when we're really banging around going on a long trip i really haven't figured a way to fix that yet it hasn't been an issue because the door kind of keeps it in i could put a pool noodle in there maybe just to keep that tight but so far it really is not the big of an issue but i just want to make sure it didn't go back and hit the air conditioner so it's worked out pretty well as well And one of the first things we did when we first got the camper was we put in these decals. We got these, I think it was Bed Bath & Beyond, some sort of sheet. They've worked okay. We've lost one there. A couple of them were peeling off. We have to keep working at them to keep them back on. If anybody comes up with an idea to keep these in place, that'd be great. We may do something else in the future, but like I say, we, we, every time we go camping, we just grab one and we'll repeal it back out and stick it on. It stays, but it just gets too hot, it seems, to keep that, that decal stuff in place. So, uh, it's just one of those things that I haven't really found the perfect solution for it, but we kind of like to have it decorated a little bit and we just keep on putting them back down. I bought another sheet of it just in case we find a better way to install them. We've, we've tried cleaning them off and putting them on better, but actually the couple of them we've retried to put back on, they come right back off again. So not really got a good solution for that unless someone else has figured out something, some other way to put stickers on the these insides. There's a lot of heat in here build up.
one of the mods that has given me no trouble at all is the jacky up uh, if you have a small car like I do and you're putting these things on there you'll have trouble with getting that that wheel off of there and this jacky up has saved me a lot of time because it just pops out that whole thing pulls out and you pull the bottom of the wheel off and you put the back put the little piece in the back of your car and you're good to go don't have to worry about anything dragging hitting or anything like that and that really helps when you're on uneven surfaces so I had to fight it before and I, I, I automatically put this one on there right when I first got the camper and it's never had an issue with it yet it's worked out perfect and that's pretty much the wrap-up of the earlier mods that I put on this uh, camper uh, the other thing I put added recently was the rear view camera and like I said I haven't got it a good shot yet but we'll see how that works out in the future too and I'll follow up on how will that work but like I say everything you I've showed you some of the stuff we did earlier you have to keep an eye on it because like I say it's not done in the factory and it hasn't been proven so you have to check on it occasionally to make sure things working right so that's about all I've got and like I say if you have any comments or any experiences that you've had with some mods you've done put in the comment section here